Hello and what's up everyone. Uh, today we are going to present our brand new topic for this day. Uh, we will be focusing on the badminton facilities and equipment. Okay. So last meeting we have discussed the brief history and overview of what badminton game is. And today uh, we will move forward in uh, understanding and learning uh, the different badminton equipment and facilities okay now to start with let us first uh, discuss the badminton racket okay what is a badminton racket badminton racket is used to hit the bird or the shuttlecock no and the racket is shaped like a tennis racket however so it weighs much less so mas magaan ang ang badminton racket compared to the tennis racket okay the frame of the racket including the handle is sh should not exceed at least 26.75 inches ang kanyang haba okay so yung, yung haba niya uh, must not exceed 26.75 inches and the overall width yung lapad should uh should be na at least 9 inches okay so again take note uh, ang haba niya should not exceed 26.75 inches at yung lapad ng racket natin uh, should be 9 inches in uh, overall width or uh, yung kanyang lapad the overall length of the head is not to exceed 290 millimeters okay so yung overall haba nung yung ulo ng racket should not exceed 290 millimeters now Ang, ang ating mga rackets nowadays are commonly are made up of light materials okay such as aluminum and graphite these are the most common materials which are being used no, to create or to manufacture rackets because aluminum and graphite are light materials okay light materials and the the strings in the uh, badminton racket are made up of nylon strings for durability and also lightweight all right so i have here the different parts of the badminton racket okay so from this point dito sa taas up to this point okay i uh, will just get the the pen okay so from this point here up to this point right here okay these are what we call the frame the overall uh, length of the racket is called the frame okay Galing dito. now we have here the head right ito yung head natin and of course the head dyan mo makikita yung mga strings this part is what we call the string area again strings are made up of nylon threads all right now from the the head papunta sa shaft merong part dyan, no which connects the shaft and the head this is what we call the throat okay throat hindi lang sa tao may throat pati sa badminton racket meron din okay so we have the head we have the throat and we have here the shaft okay yung mahaba dyan. this is the shaft and of course the handle right usually the handle is made up of wood covered with um, grips rubber grips okay so these are the different parts take please take note these are the different parts of the badminton racket okay next let's proceed uh, the next equipment is the shuttlecock okay so the shuttlecock is the badminton's version of a tennis ball however it is not a ball okay ito yung unique test ng badminton so it has a, a small ball here pero hindi siya talaga siya bilog is somewhat uh ano ba uh semicircle okay so ayan dito banda so it has a small ball at the front to give it speed because it's quite heavy compared to the rest of the parts right and the feathers protruding from it to help it float when it is hi hit high into the air so ito yung pampabigat ito yung pampa bigay ng ng flight okay ng weight ng lightness kanya 
So, an official shuttlecock must have at least 14 to 16 feathers. And these are not ordinary feathers. These are feathers from the goose, yung mga gansa, or yung mga ducks, or yung ating mga pato. And, specifically, it should be coming from the left side of the bird only. Okay? Left wing only of the bird so, sa pakpak, ito siya na part na feathers kasi marami mga feathers ang goose, of course. Pero, specifically, it is the wing feathers which are being used and the left wing only. So, bakit left wing? Kasi kung iba-iba ang ginagamit na feathers, hindi, hindi tama ang aerodynamics ng, uh, what's this, hindi tama ang aerodynamics ng lipad ng shuttle ka kung ang isang feather right ang isang feather left okay so ayan and yung forma ng ayung ah, forma ng 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 left wing kung left wing yan lahat will give a certain uh, spin also to the uh, shuttle ka okay sige so next we have the next equipment is the net so an official badminton net must measure 5 feet high sa kitna at the center and 5 feet 1 inch at the sides okay so please take note of this that the sides are much higher compared to the uh, center pero hindi naman ganun kataas it's just 1 inch in difference so kung titignan mo yung badminton net merong medyo pababa siya ng 1 inch sa gitna okay so the nets are at attached to the vertical post on either side of the court pero itong mga post na ito labas siya sa playing area hindi yung kung saan yung linya ng ng court doon mo siya ilalagay hindi medyo labas siya sa playing area okay the nets should measure 30 inches from bottom to top so ang ang lapad hindi naman from from 5 feet hanggang baba ang 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 net okay so at least 30 inches and siya and must consist of a uniform dark colored mesh hindi pwedeng uh, kulay puti ang ginagamit na mesh or yung parang yung other terms natin ay screen kailangan dark colored siya para magbigay siya ng contrast tuon sa shuttlecock which is usually colored white so hindi pwedeng puti ang net puti rin ang shuttlecock hindi pwedeng ganun alright however and the mesh should be white ay, the mesh should be dark ang tape naman, ito ito yan, should be of course white okay, so to make the nets full height, para makita ang height, okay, visible to players and officials, okay so ayan siya. next is the facility no? basic lang naman ang facility, badminton court so the badminton court is rectangle uh, usually it's rectangle and it's laid out with white lines of 40 millimeters white preferably in white or yellow color so yung white lines na yan meron yan siyang uh, tugmang sukat okay ano yan tugmang sukat yan yung lapad ng line okay is at least 40 millimeters hindi masyadong malapad yung linya hindi rin masyadong manipis na halos hindi mo na makita okay so at least 40 millimeters ang wide ng linya. Linya ito ha, linya. Hindi haba ha, wide yung lapad ng linya. Okay? So this is the badminton court. So iba ang singles, iba ang lobos. Kung sa uh, lawn tennis ba, right? Wala ito, hindi ito siya makita. Okay? Pero sa badminton, dahil badminton ang pinag-uusapan natin, ito na yung court natin. Okay. So, take notes of this. So, ang overall uh, dimension niya is 20 feet ang, ang lapad. Okay. And 44 feet ang haba. Again, 20 feet ang lapad, 44 feet ang haba ng court. Okay. 20 feet width, 44 feet ang length okay now uh, ito yung gitna nila so ang gitna is divided by a net so kung 44 feet yan ilang feet ito from this point up to this point 20 
Ilan? 22. Okay, 22 from this point to this point and 22 from this point to this point. A total of 44 feet. Okay? So, we have here 17 feet ang singles. Ayan. 17 feet ang singles. Ayan. Okay? So, 20 feet ang doubles. 20 feet ang doubles. So, ganit, um, I will explain to you later when we discuss already the rules kung paano ito siya nilalaro. Just take note of the the court dimensions. Okay? Ayan. Okay? So, kung papansin natin, the court the court of the badminton game, no? pag singles ang nilalaro, the court is narrow but longer. Okay? Mas mali, mas, ma, masikip, ma, ma, maliit, pero mahaba ang kanyang service line. Right? Pag doubles naman, malapad, kasi aabot dito, pero, okay, ang service line naman niya, maliit. Okay? So, the, the, kung, ang, kung i-describe natin siya, badminton court, uh, for singles is is narrow but long pero pag 12 volts it's wide but shorten ang kanyang court dimension okay so there you have it the the different uh, facilities and equipment in badminton game okay just a short recap we have no, the badminton racket ayan the shuttlecock the net but and of course the badminton court all right so yan yung mga different facilities and equipment used natin for badminton okay so there you have it guys i hope you learned something from this uh, morning session see you around on our next topic which is the basic skills in badminton okay have a great day bye